This hand's totally fine. It's a Grixis control hand. Agreed. I'm in. Against Sepomon, who I assume is a Digimon. Yes, the, the Digimons have Mon at the end, the Pokemons don't. Yeah, the Digimons have Mon, but they can talk. Right, the Pokemons just say... Just say their name. Their name. There's no way I'm not playing this island next turn, so I'm just going to play it now. Oh. I mean, you could think the triple, triple black Necropotence, but unless we literally draw Necropotence, I still don't know if I want to cast that before any of this stuff, mm -hmm. so I'm just going to play it on. No, I agree. Okay. He went island into Mox. Emerald didn't play anything. I don't like casting the Moxin when you don't have something. Yeah, just, unless just, he's it, holding something up. He could be sure. holding up uh, Electrolyze. Yeah, but it could just mean being like... like It just lets me go like, you know, Ancient Grudge. Mm. Which I don't love. Yeah, I don't love it either. I mean, again, he could have that Electrolyze, no targets. It might let, might let him um, have... Again, nothing really. Okay, now I'm concerned. I guess I just leave up. Do we cast compulsive research here? Uh, we could do without these swamps. Yeah, no, I think that's probably the correct play. No reason to hold up brimstone. I don't think. Yeah, what's he gonna do? Like, the whatever he does is probably not gonna be brimstoneable. That's the issue. Just lose the swamp. <laughs> I think we do still lose the swamp. I think so too. Instantly, this hand's pretty. Wait, if we lose the swamp, we still have to discard a card. So we might as well just discard two cards. Well, which two? I think it would still be Swamp plus something. Yeah, but what, which one? Swamp and... Memory Jar? Memory Jar. It's probably Jar. Although Necropotent's pretty good with Jar. Although, no, they don't do anything together, really. Uh, no, they don't really. He's going to be like, why do they discard a Swamp and a Jar? <laughs> <laughs> what are they doing? So we have we have a pretty solid hand here. Yeah, I like it. Our opponent's not done anything, so that's always an advantage. That's useful, yeah, it's useful. Oh, Talarian Academy, which is currently just an island, but four. I Talarian think, Island. Siege Gang Commander. That's a disaster. We are gonna have some trouble beating that. In that we we can't. <laughs> here we go again. The deck just doesn't do anything. Um. Yeah, man. I guess we volley it and then Imperial Seal for something. No idea what to do here. I'll be entirely. I'm gonna volley it and Imperial Seal. Well, I'm gonna volley it while he can't use its ability. Mm -hmm. So that's incorrect. Could duress? Don't love that. And instead, I'm gonna Imperial Seal. What? What do we get? Um, tendrils. Then we hope to. No, because I don't want to draw it. We get a swamp, <laughs> like an underground sea, maybe. That seems really bad. You gonna dress? Yeah, you probably dress here. Our opponent has Splinter Twin and Control Magic, so and Kiki Jiki. I wonder what kind of deck he's playing. So I'm gonna kill the Splinter Twin because we have no targets for Control Magic. Perfect. Well, we have the Snapcaster Magic. Yeah, whatever. But God, God we got that fucking Siege Gang. Out of the the way. Kiki can be killed by a Murderous Cut. Yeah, you know we're not so bad. Still. We're in a bad spot. Like. Yeah, we need to tap out our black to cast the Necropotence. So. And it's gonna, we're just going to get killed by those goblin tokens. Like That's what's going to happen, essentially. Like, yeah, there are some drawbacks to playing a really bad deck, and like we run into them, but... There's the Kiki. <laughs> For the Kiki beatdown. Yeah, man. I think well, I, but I, we I, have some trouble with a 5-mana 2-2 two, two haste. <laughs> I think I want to cut that Kiki. <laughs> Do you? I think so. <laughs> We can also Snapcaster plus um, Brimstone it. Uh, then like trade the Snapcaster for Goblin, and that's just better. That's probably just better. We have to do it now, so we can activate it in response. This is so bad. So bad. It's not good. God, I did not really realize how terrible our deck is. What, is what a, have we learned? It's a real junk. Not that Storm is bad. That is no, not what we learned. that's not what we learned. We learned we shouldn't force things. No, we didn't learn that. Yes, Because if did. it worked out, it would have been great. No, that's <laughs> just not how... <laughs> not how this works. I gotta trade this, because he's gonna because it makes his control magic a dead card. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of funny. Perfect. Nope. <laughs> I guess we Necropotence and try and kill him next turn somehow. Yeah, with Jace, I guess. I'm drawing 10 cards. 
or nine. Mm-hmm. Tens probably. No, ten. I'm drawing ten cards on the second main. That's what's happening. Okay. And we can cast Mox Diamond twice if we hit both Yogg's Bargain and a Mana Source and Tendrils and... Mm-hmm. Mm. With you so far? I think we can Storm out next turn. I think we can do it. Okay. He's going to kill us, isn't he? Shardless Agent Cascade. You got it. I don't care. What did he hit? Mana Crypt. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Pretty good. But, as far as things go, it's pretty good. There's a chance we can kill him with that mana crypt if he loses the flip. A million times. Yeah, if he loses the flip and we tendrils. And yeah, we tendrils are a big one and then we lose the flip. Well, what's a big tendrils like? Eight, maybe. <laughs> Tops. It's just atrocious, like. Alright, I'm doing this for ten. Because we're not winning this game with the other way. Mm-hmm. You don't even get to see what the cards are? No, you gotta wait. Jesus. This card's jank. Totally unplayable. Do I need to leave behind some for probes and stuff? Or just no? Hmm. Because we don't hit the probe, it doesn't do anything, so. Going to one here. Alright, I just need to stop playing hearts on your phone. Okay. And construct a win with this hand. Why don't we get them all? Did you do it on your upkeep? I did it on this end step. You No! Second I main! I did it on this main! Didn't I? I think you did on the end step. I thought I did that on a second main. Anyway, we're all gonna win. <laughs> we went to uh, one. So I think what we do here is we cast Imperial Seal. Alright. Did I do it on his end step? I must have. You thought like, otherwise we would have the cards. You would get them on the end step before moving to your turn. I really thought I didn't do that, though. I mean, we could run the tape back, but... Let's get Yogamoth's will. And lose the game. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So far, Ooh. this deck has proven quite good at killing players. Some players. Some players. It kills, it, it kills at least 50% of the players in the match. None of these cards are good. So, submit deck. <laughs> really? That's what we're going with? I mean, listen, like, what are we even doing anymore? Did you, did you win your Hearthstone game? I did, and well, then at the very least... There you go. <coughs> I'm going to file for reimbursement for that. I probably missed it. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to file for reimbursement. What, what, what's your complaint? Like, it's forcing Storm ne- to work? Necropotence is weird. <laughs> Why did you make this card? It's yeah. really dumb. It doesn't make any sense. I must have just done it on the end step. Hopefully I didn't. And there's a bug with Necropotence. You'd think someone would have noticed that already. Not like a high profile card. Maybe. Necropotence, no. Nobody plays that. I really hate the way you pronounce it. Necropotence. <laughs> yeah. It does real disrespect to Necropotence. Yeah. Alright, let's win this time. Here we go. Ah! Uh, we get Ancient Tomb plus Mox Diamond to have three colorless to three colorless. No, no, this actually. Makes any color. That's really good. Well, not really. We're two fooling ourselves to get a any color land. I think the hands are keep, though, probably, right? Why? What What does it do? What does the deck do? What does it does it do anything? <laughs> this horn doesn't do anything. No, 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 no. The deck doesn't do anything. And I guess... Well, okay, well, is our average six going to do something? Hopefully. No! So keep the seven. Because at the very least, we might as well do nothing with seven cards in our hand. <laughs> <laughs> what do we play first? What? Who cares? <sighs> Is like this is only good if we draw a land next turn, mm. and then we can tetris. <laughs> if it's a swamp, I'm doing it. Listen, I'm doing it. So that means you want to play the ancient tomb. No, you don't want to play the mox diamond because we don't need it. We do need it because if we draw a land, we can do something. Yeah, but we could have done that anyway. Yep. But now we're doing it today. But now, remember with the conversation we had about moxin just not ten minutes ago. This is different. It's not an actual mox. Right. Okay. Ooh, he actual got, mox. He's got two. Look at him, I bet he's playing cards with it as well. Jeez! Do you think he has a land? Doesn't need it. He generally might not have a land that he doesn't need. That might be the case. <laughs> so our win condition is his mana crypt. Hey, we won with less. Yeah. <laughs> we have won with less. We've won by just 
waiting quite a while. <laughs> they got a real long time. Yeah. Perfect. Excellent. Let's take it. <laughs> Yoggmoth's will to play the swamp. I don't hate it. <laughs> Three mana ramp and grow. Basically. Alright, so hopefully you can also price this, because otherwise... We're in some trouble. Lose the flip. Here's what we lose. What, seven of these? Maybe less. Mm -hmm. Listen. Listen, listen oh. what? That's not impossible. What's that? What's seven... What's one over two times seven? Well, yeah, one over yeah, two. Yeah, times, yeah, one to the power of seven. Yeah, one, yeah, one, one, half to the power of seven. Like. Yeah. Uh, well, what's two times seven? So two, then four. What's two to the power of seven? Two, four... Six, six eight. Who do eight, we... No, it's two, four, eight. Two, yeah, I know. <laughs> two, four, eight, sixteen. Thirty-two. Sixty-four. Yeah, six, four, 128. 128. So it's one in a 128 chance. No, that's seven. That's so seven? Yeah. One in a hundred and twenty eight chance. It's okay. It's already not happened because he won that one. So <laughs> now it's only like a one in no, it's just from now yeah. on. What's this? That's not ultimate priceable. <laughs> so horrible. So you can just untap his uh mana crypt and his mox his his relics. This is not the deck he was playing last game. This is a different deck, like yeah, well, I mean Why did we play the Moxon that was so dumb? Yeah, I know. Any sense? <laughs> I thought it would be funny. And it was, because our deck isn't going to win anyway, so. It was just riff for 20 minutes and then call it. This was just the worst idea. We won a round. We've gone 0 3 with way better decks than this. Yeah, but. <laughs> we went 0 3 with this. No, we didn't. We haven't won a single game. We haven't even come close to winning a game. At no point was there even the possibility of a game being won by this deck. <laughs> At no point did it even enter like into consideration that we might win. It was, it was just all how like, best to not we not lose. <laughs> like for a little while. For a little bit. You know what we've never done? What? Cast fucking tentacles. <laughs> <laughs> can we do that? If we draw a line, can we just cast the fucker? <laughs> So I can put it in the thumbnail. Yeah. <laughs> Ancestor. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Any plans for the weekend? Not well, Sunday. It's it's Sunday today, so uh, this is my plans for the weekend. Ooh, Ooh Brimstone Valley. You can hit this. If uh, he sacks a creature, maybe then mm -hmm. we'll die. Well, we can need to do it before he yeah, activates it. Activates it. That seems unlikely. Listen, this is a real. You can't redirect this to the Tesseract, can you? No, we've established that. That was that word. <clears throat> there's a game, there's a world which we win this game. Mm -hmm. well, all he's doing is untapping ma like artifacts for huge, huge amounts of mana. Yeah, maybe he doesn't have like a payload. Maybe it's just... Like us, where we drafted like half of Hey! Scoreboard! <laughs> we are technically winning. The best kind. I feel like maybe just Brimstone volleying him. You think? Maybe that's the way we win this game. Oh, like you it, say, scoreboard. You know? What does it even matter anymore? <laughs> Maybe What's, wait for a creature to die and then just well, BAM! Doesn't he make a whole bunch of five fives next turn? <laughs> artifacts you control because... Um, mm, mm. Only until end of turn. So he has another artifact. That's not a very good ultimate. Still, if, it's only a five, though. If he has another artifact, that's lethal. So. Not if we uh, ultimate... Oh, we can't ultimate press. No. We, we can, can murderous cut. We need another land for that. No, because this will be in the main, because we're going to brimstone volume. Okay. Good plan. Or brimstone volume this. <laughs> hey! Something to brimstone valley. I like it. Hopefully he cascades into... 14 the cards! <laughs> to hit a Demir signet. His Which, deck's a real pile. What the hell is going on? I was hoping he would cascade into a um, into a Hydra, which would immediately die, so that we could bring some volley the, the Tesseret. Tesseret and oh, it was, it was gonna be great, Dennis. You should have you should have seen it. If you cascade with no legal targets, you just shuffle your libraries. What happens? Yeah, you could if you put them on the bottom in a random order. Mm -hmm. Well, there goes that plan. So yeah. that, that is 20 damage right there. No, because it can't attack. Yeah, I mean, he can't... He's if he had a land, he could have killed us this turn if he didn't, he didn't have to tap that Sephiroth. Yeah, yeah, that's a little scary. Well, no, he couldn't, because he had to plus the Tesseract to untap those. Oh, right. Um, probably Volley the Shardless. Yeah, I think so. Ow! Yeah, I mean, the saving us two damage by paying two life. It's a bit weird, but... It's cool. 
Come on, Swamp. So we can just cast the tendrils. Tendrils, that's all I want. All I want is to cast the tendrils and then... No! <laughs> no! Alright, it's fine. We're not dead. Wait, can we yog will to get the swamp and then maybe you won't kill us and we can cast tendrils? You'll definitely kill us if we yog will to get the swamp. I think, I think this is the line, though. No, it's not the line. No, do you think there's a real line? Yeah, there? we have to wait and we have to survive for black mana. That's what we're doing. Play the, we, we can uh, murderous cut one of the artifacts. I'm going to one? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay. You in? I'm in. You with me? <laughs> Let's do it. I'm in. <laughs> but if we don't draw one right now, that's it. It's it anyway. We just want to cast the dendrils once in this horrible experience. What are doing? We're just playing something. I don't know. Oh, we're dead. We're dead, dead. We need to pay. We're not dead, dead. We need to pay two life to cast the thing. We go to 16. Okay. Three of the things, it's a 15. Personally, it's lethal. He also just taps our Damn it! <laughs> <sighs> well. Okay, well, that wasn't real. We had a good run. Oh! Oh! So. There we go. We're never doing that again. Yeah, I'm really sorry, guys. That was totally my bad. I yeah. thought it would be like a fun video where you get to like do some cool maths and nope. storm out. Turns out we just got our shit pushed in for three rounds. Yeah. Except we happened to win the first one. Yeah. Okay, well, listen. We'll go draft a real deck now uh, for, for Academy. Geo Academy, so go check that out. It'll be out this coming Wednesday. I don't think now is a good time to sell people on our videos. No, you're right, yeah. If you want to watch more of this kind of crap... <laughs> Seek help. Thanks, guys. <laughs>